I don't think we realize what the Kansas City Chiefs just did. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Kansas City Chiefs news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is Kansas City Chiefs are becoming the villains of the NFL due to their winning ways. The Kansas City Chiefs were booed loudly by fans when they were introduced at the Super Bowl's opening night on Monday. Maybe the reaction was skewed a bit by the presence of fans of the Las Vegas Raiders, one of the Chiefs' biggest rivals. But there seems to be fatigue among football fans over the success of the Chiefs, who on Sunday against the San Francisco 49ers will play in their fourth Super Bowl in five seasons. The Chiefs have noticed. Defensive tackle Chris Jones has called the Chiefs villains in the eyes of many fans. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes said disappointing those fans wasn't necessarily a goal of his. I think I just like winning, Mahomes said. If you win a lot and that causes you to be a villain, then I'm okay with it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to enjoy playing the game and try to win as much as possible. The Chiefs seemed to be a fan favorite when they faced the 49ers in Super Bowl Live four years ago. Then, they were viewed as fresh participants. Indeed, that Super Bowl appearance was the first for the franchise in 50 years. In addition, the Chiefs had some stars new to the national stage, most notably Mahomes. But fans are now familiar with Mahomes, Jones, and Travis Kelsey. Everybody used to love us, I'm Jones said. We used to be one of the most favorite teams. Now everybody's ready for the Chiefs to lose. It's okay, they can continue hating. You call it hate when you win a whole lot. The problem is we haven't won as much as people think. We've won only two Super Bowls, right? We only won two out of three. Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Travis Kelsey seemingly caught wind of San Francisco 49ers cornerback Charvarius Ward's comments on Super Bowl opening night and had something to say about it. One of our corners is over there playing and it looks to see that he's liking it over there a little bit more, so hopefully we can get this win and make him miss Kansas City just a little bit, Kelsey said of Ward during his press conference on February 7th. When Ward was asked during opening night of the 2024 Super Bowl what it's like playing for the 49ers compared to the Chiefs, he said, it's better. And when asked in what ways it is better playing for San Francisco, he said, every way possible. Ward, 27, entered the NFL undrafted out of Middle Tennessee State in 2018. He originally signed with the Dallas Cowboys but was traded to the Chiefs in August 2018. After battling his way onto Kansas City's active roster during his rookie season, Ward worked his way into a starting role in year two. From there, he continued to develop during each of his next two seasons with the Chiefs, which positioned him to sign a three-year, $40 million deal with San Francisco during the 2022 offseason. Now in his second season with the 49ers, Ward was named second team, all-pro, and a pro bowler for his performance during the regular season. Users on X, formerly Twitter, reacted to the trash talk between Kelsey and Ward. I think is salty because the Chiefs made no attempt to sign him. We're actually better because of it, one user wrote. So we now know Kelsey definitely heard about Ward's comments from a couple of days ago, lol, another user wrote. The Chiefs and my wife are the same. They hear everything, lol, another user wrote. Even though Kelsey could retire now and be a first ballot Hall of Famer, he's still hungry for more success. That was evident on opening night of the Super Bowl when he discussed his eagerness to win his third championship. I've been on a mission ever since I won my first Super Bowl. We made it back to the Super Bowl the year after 2019 and obviously lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's motivated me to get back to this point right here, Kelsey said. So you'll hear me say this a lot, but I want this one more than I've ever wanted a Super Bowl on my life because of the type of team that we have, the people that we have in this thing, but also because of that tier of teams that have done it twice, have gone down in history as some of the greats. Kelsey is projected to have 5.6 receptions, 63 receiving yards, and 0.7 receiving touchdowns against the 49ers. The second story is what Patrick Mahomes is offering the rest of the Chiefs if they win the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes made a big promise to his Kansas City Chiefs teammates if they score a Super Bowl win at Las Vegas's Allegiant Stadium on Sunday. But the Chiefs quarterback wants his team focused in the meantime, rather than out partying along the Vegas Strip. They should be thinking of their time in the city over the next few days as a business trip, Mahomes said. 
If they do secure what would be their second Super Bowl victory in as many years, Mahomes, 28, told reporters he has a special treat in mind for his teammates. I told the guys that if we win, I'll bring everyone back to Vegas to celebrate, he said, according to NFL Network reporter James Palmer. The Chiefs traveled to Vegas earlier this week so they could prepare to play the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl LVE. They punched their tickets to the game, Mahomes' fourth Super Bowl in his six seasons as the Chiefs' starting quarterback, after defeating the Baltimore Ravens 17-10 in the January 28 AFC Championship game. Mahomes said during a February 6 press conference that he is doing whatever it takes to secure a Super Bowl win for his team this season. It's humbling because I never thought I would be in this many Super Bowl games, Mahomes said, adding that it truly is remarkable that he's had four opportunities so far to play in the NFL's biggest game of the year. I don't take it for granted because you never know if you're going to be able to be back in this game, he said. Sunday's Super Bowl serves as an echo of sorts of Mahomes' first ever Super Bowl in 2020, when the Chiefs played against the 49ers. The Chiefs won that year and again in 2023, when they defeated the Philadelphia Eagles with a final score of 38-35. A win this year would give Mahomes his third Super Bowl ring. Patrick Mahomes is a much different quarterback than he was four years ago when he helped the Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl to end a championship drought stretching back five decades. He's a different man for that matter, a father of two these days with different priorities in life. Sometimes the two intersect, one job making him better at the other. I think you learn a ton being a father, man. You learn how to be patient, said Mahomes, who will lead the AFC champion Chiefs into a Super Bowl rematch against the NFC champion 49ers on Sunday. You learn how to try to really boost people's confidence, especially your kids. Through seasons like I've had this last year, it's never losing hope, never going too negative in adverse times. Just continue to boost people's confidence, continue to strive for hard work and really be patient. Mahomes' patience certainly has been put to the test this season. He watched his wide receivers drop more passes than any team in the NFL, and the rest of the Kansas City offense commit more penalties than any team but one. He had to choke back his angst sometimes successfully, other times not so much when a missed call by the officials may have cost the Chiefs a game. And he had to finally accept the fact that defenses simply were not going to let him chuck the ball all over the field anymore, and that his Sandlot style of play had to change. In some ways, Mahomes had to reinvent himself, becoming what he once seemed to loathe, a game manager. Unlike that championship run four years ago, or the two Super Bowls since that earned Mahomes a second ring, the Chiefs this season did not rely entirely on their offense to carry them. They had the number two scoring defense in the NFL, which had to bail out Mahomes' side of the ball when it was struggling so mightily midway through the season. So while he can still make the audacious no-look throw or throw that wizardly rocket through double coverage, he also learned to check down to running backs when deep shots were covered. He accepted that audibles to running plays when defenses stacked the line of scrimmage were okay. Mahomes even learned that he could take a sack when it was most beneficial to keep the clock running, which he did in the AFC Championship game in Baltimore. I think guys understood, Mahomes said upon reflection, that we could play a different way to win football games. Sounds like a quarterback that has learned a few things in six years as a starter. He's the catalyst. He's the reason why we're here and why we're able to keep coming back to back, said tight end Travis Kelsey, perhaps Mahomes' closest friend on the team. And honestly, he just gives his team a certain sense of urgency and confidence that we can go and get it done, and that goes a long way. The third story is KC Chiefs activate Sky Why Moore and place Charles Omenahu on injured reserve. The Kansas City Chiefs got back out on the practice field on Wednesday, making the most of their time before Sunday's Super Bowl matchup against the San Francisco 49ers kicks off. It appears possible that some help could be coming to the wide receiver room too. Per a Wednesday afternoon report by Aaron Wilson of KPRC2 in Houston, Sky Moore is being activated from the injured reserve list. In a corresponding move, the team placed defensive lineman Charles Omanihu on IR. Moore, who hasn't played since mid-December, injured his knee during a Week 15 game against the New England Patriots. The sophomore wideout was later placed on IR, ultimately getting designated to return last month. 
Moore suffered a minor setback, however, that held him out of practice for a bit thereafter. He was a limited participant in practice last week. With Moore's 21-day practice window expiring, the Chiefs moved their 23-year-old receiver back on the active roster to avoid him being definitively ruled out for the Super Bowl. Those who don't get activated effectively have their seasons ended. Utilizing an IR spot for Omenihu makes a ton of sense. The veteran pass rusher tore his ACL in the AFC Championship game against the Baltimore Ravens, and head coach Andy Reid ruled him out of this weekend's game well in advance. Wilson's report states that Omenihu underwent successful surgery already, but a previous report from elsewhere indicates that the procedure is scheduled for the Tuesday after Super Bowl LVI. Omenihu has been present with the team down in Las Vegas this week. It's important to remember that just because Moore is off IR, 